right, everybody, welcome back. Another semifinal is upon us for KUM Brains and Brews here at the lovely Cowboy Ninja on Tumon Bay. I'm Jason Salas, your dutiful host, and we have two teams that are going to be gunning for it tonight to have the distinct pleasure of moving on to our championship round. First, they got some business to do. We have Team Docomo Pacific. Off a day, gentlemen. Off a day. All right, Nate, who have you got on your team tonight? We have Michelle Blazer, Laser, Taser, Gazer. Oh, very nice. And your vocal delivery was so smooth, apparently you set off Siri. <laughs> okay, so a, a full Do roster. Docomo 5G, shout out. All right, there you go. I'm not sure we can give you bonus points for product placement, but that was very well done. Nicely done. Okay, and then we have Team Custom Fitness. Oh, uh, Once again. Samantha, Chris, the handsome timing little brother, uh, Rico, and Richard Cut Your Ages, and I'm, I'm Logan. The trash talk already starting, I love it. Okay, now Team Custom Fitness has already won the coin toss, and the categories you can pick are some very, very challenging ones, and the, we have six of them. Mm -hmm. Certainly they are going to test your metal as far as your awareness of trivia. You can either pick from boy bands, Meryl Streep movies, silver screen superheroes, Netflix and chill, Tom Cruise flicks, or country music. Growing up on Guam, I wouldn't be surprised if country music kind of stays by its lonesome, but you know. Shock the world, bro. Okay. All right, uh, it's, our, it's our choice for you. Yes, please. So we're gonna go with Meryl Streep movies. Okay, so. Excellent, <laughs> Team Casa Fitness is going for Meryl Streep movies, and let's bring up that category. Statics. So opting to answer questions about the great Meryl Streep, one of the premier actresses of our time. Here is question number one of five for round one. Teams, what 1983 film has Meryl Streep playing a plutonium plant worker purposely contaminated because of fear she may release information about the plant's unsafe practices? The movie is not as long as that question, trust me. What 1983 film has Meryl Streep playing a plutonium plant worker purposely contaminated because of fear she may release info about the plant's unsafe practices? There is no Googling. Their phones have been restricted, which for Docomo is hell on earth. All right. So, Docomo, we'll let you guys go first, and your answer, please. We are going with uh, China Syndrome. China Syndrome is incorrect. I'm very sorry. Uh, we went with Cheryl. Cheryl is, I don't know what the hell Cheryl is. We don't know. <laughs> uh, it rhymes with Meryl. Yeah. That doesn't make it any more correct. The correct answer. This is more correct. I guess. Well, unfortunately, we're not playing in nuances, but the correct answer was Silkwood. Yeah. Oh, oh, Silkwood. Oh, that one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we all, we all know it when we hear it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Silkwood. Every, yeah. Oh, everybody's IMDb all of a sudden, right? All right. Hopefully, hopefully you will fare better with question number two. The score still tied 0-0. Zero, zero. What film co-stars Meryl and Dustin Hoffman playing a couple entangled in a bitter divorce? Meryl Streep and Dustin Hoffman played a couple who went through a, let's just say, not so pleasant separation. Meryl Streep and Dustin Hoffman co-starred in this movie. Hold on, my thing's not working, Time is up, please. Uh, we don't know. Uh, lo lo okay, <laughs> Logan actually wrote Fatal A minus. I believe you were in the middle of Fatal Attraction, which unfortunately is incorrect. What do we have, Nate? Uh, Kramer versus Kramer. Kramer versus Kramer is a very good attempt, and that is correct. Oh. Oh my God. Hey. We have one. Kramer versus Kramer. We're on the board. Put exactly. Kramer versus Kramer puts Docomo on the board, one to zero. Let's move to question number three. Ooh. Easy. What was the name of Meryl Streep's character? In The Devil Wears Prada. All the women here at Cowboy Ninja are like, oh, come on! What was the name of Meryl Streep's character in The Devil Wears Prada? Who did Meryl play? Depending on where you grew up on Guam, it could also be The Devil Wears Prada. Or if you're in KUN's production department, it could be The Devil Wears Prada. Okay, your time is up. Okay. 
Miranda okay, Priestley. he says Miranda Priestley, and that is correct. Well, Nards, we put Amanda. Oh, we wrote Amanda. I'm sorry, Amanda is incorrect. <laughs> it's correct in Chamorro. So, Amanda, Miranda. Samantha. Docomo has two points. Hey, good topic, guys. <laughs> and Custom Fitness, which I may add, Custom Fitness picked this category, is uh, <laughs> pitching a goose egg at the moment, but th there is hope. All right, question number four. In this film adaptation of the hit Broadway musical comprised of ABBA songs, Meryl Streep plays Donna Sheridan. What is the name of this film? A hit Broadway musical is comprised of ABBA songs, and Meryl Streep plays Donna Sheridan. Of which film am I speaking? Five seconds more. Longest, longest 20 seconds. Time over. is slower. In two <laughs> okay, your time is up. And Logan, what did your team say? Oh, uh, Mama Mia with the exclamation point. With the your, exclamation point face. is correct. And judges? Judges, that is correct. What's your answer, man? We had. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, we had burlesque. Team, team Docomo said burlesque, which mm. is a really good movie, but unfortunately is correct. And I don't believe is even Meryl Streep. Isn't that, isn't that Cher and Christina Aguilera? Hey, thanks, Chris. Okay. It's mine. We could definitely take that in consideration. Okay. The, the more beers we get, you know, the better we all sound. All right. Okay, so Docomo Pacific is up now by a score of two to one. Custom Fitness coming back. All right. Question number five. Final question for round one. In the year 2012, not too long ago, Meryl Streep won an Oscar for her portrayal of this British Prime Minister. Who did she play? Meryl Streep won an Oscar in the year 2012 for playing the British Prime Minister. Five seconds. Spelling does count once again. Your time is up. Team Docomo, who do you have? We have Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher is correct. So Docomo has three points how, for how they one. spell it though. AKA Iron Queen. AKA. Okay, wait. Let me check your He's spelling. He's still writing. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher is correct. Okay, what have you guys got? We got Margaret Thatcher too. They got Margaret Thatcher as well, which is also correct. And that was in the film The Iron Lady. Very well done. So that means Docomo has three points. Custom right. Fitness Except has. Except we spelled it right. Yeah. <laughs> Custom Fitness artists. has two. The, the game is already off to a rock and star, so please stay tuned because when we come back for KUM Brains and Brews, another round of brain twisting questions. Don't go anywhere, we're back after this. Welcome back to Cowboy Ninja. The best calamari on the island is waiting for these two teams to finish their spirited competition where we have Team Docomo leading Team Custom Fitness by the score of three to two. And we have Team Docomo will now pick from these competitive topics. We have boy bands, silver screen superheroes, Netflix and chill, Tom Cruise flicks, or country music. Nate, how do you guys want to pick? Well, it's the holidays and in the spirit of Scientology, we're going to go with Tom Cruise flicks. Very nice. Mom. I'm, I'm sure the supreme being greatly appreciates that. And all that spaceships and stuff that most of us Catholics don't understand, right? All right there you go. We're, all right. Question number one for the Tom Cruise category for round two. What is the name of the 1990 film in which Tom Cruise plays disabled Vietnam veteran Ron Kovich? What is the name of the film that came out in 1990? Won a bunch of awards. Tom Cruise played a disabled Vietnam vet, Ron Kovic, or Kovic. Okay, your time is up. Docomo, what do you got? We have Born on the 4th of July. Born on the 4th of July is correct. Okay, we have a challenge about the spelling of 4th. We have it there, 4th. 
That is correct. Well, we spell it out fourth. And they actually spell it phonetically, F-O-U-R-T-H. Technically, that's a, a lowercase j? Oh, it's uppercase j. So our judges are... <laughs> Our judges are going to tap their years and years of cinematic wisdom, Ooh, which means we're going to Wikipedia. Please Google the holiday is called the <laughs> Okay, judges, what are you saying? Judges, keep in mind, this is only an hour show. All right, looks like we're good. Yeah. Except, okay, so the, both are acceptable. So both forms, four with TH and fourth are acceptable. Okay, so we have, no, we got it right. They got it four. wrong, right? Team Custom Fitness has three. That was tense. Let's not argue they with are the both correct, right, judges? <laughs> well, it comes out. Of, the international release actually sp tends to spell it out. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize I could spell it in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is in, okay. The judges are actually saying Team Custom Fitness got it. Your form, unfortunately. Okay, based off the movie poster, that is democracy at its very best, right there. Okay, so Team Dokomo's. You can't trust the internet. <laughs> Coming from you, Jared, that's, a, that's an amazing revelation. <laughs> Knowing what you do for a living, that, that, is, that is a bold statement. Okay, so we are taking Dokomo's point off the board, which means that the score is now tied three to three. Well done, teams. And well done, judges. I would kind of hottail it out of here. The, glo right. the gloves are off. Question number two, so it's all tied up once again. In the film Jerry Maguire, who played Tom Cruise's love interest, Dorothy Boyd? Who played Tom Cruise's love interest, Dorothy Boyd? Who completed him? Thank you. Spelling does count once again. God help you with this one. Hey, tell everybody. Okay, Custom Fitness, you are up first. All right. Renee Zellweger. Of course. And spelling is correct. Very well done. One point for Team Custom Fitness. That gives them four for the game. Dokomo, what do you have? We had Renee Zellweger. Okay. Zellweger only has a single L. Okay, Renee is spelled correctly with two E's, but Zellweger it only has a single L. So judges, what do we say? <laughs> judges are harsh tonight. That is incorrect. So for the first time in the game, Custom Fitness has taken the lead, four to three. What do you think, crowd? Okay, all right, all right. Okay. All right. We're going to protest possibly, everything. You can possibly make up your point with our next question. In which movie with Tom Cruise is the line, I feel the need, the need for speed? What film is that from? Docomo, I think you guys know a thing or two about speed, the 5G network, plug. And custom fitness. In which film is I Feel the Need? If you don't get this one, apparently YouTube doesn't work on your computer. Time is up. Can you redeem yourself, Team Docomo? We have Top Gun. Top Gun is correct, of course. Spelled it right this time. Okay, very nice. Spelled it in Japanese. Kind of kind of hard kind of hard to misspell Top Gun, but. Good job, nonetheless. Is it one word or two words? <laughs> oh, there's another challenge. Okay, Top Gun is correct. Top so gun. one point for both teams. So Docomo has four. Custom Fitness has a five. One point lead for Docomo. All right. Moving on into the filmography of the great Tom Cruise. In which movie was Tom Cruise's character behind the bar named Brian Flanagan? <laughs> what movie was Tom Cruise in? where his character name was Brian Flanagan. <laughs> Sam seems very, very confident. Look at they're still writing. Still writing. Time is up. Dokomo, what have you got? We have cocktail. They have cocktail, correct. They spelled it wrong. <laughs> Logan, what have you guys got? We also put cocktail. They also put cocktail. That is, of course, correct. Looks like two O's. It looks like two O's. And just, a, just a point of contention, Elizabeth Shue wanted to be here tonight, but she sends her regards. She cannot be here, unfortunately. We invited her, but you know. Spelled it in German. There's an umlaut. All right, Adventures in Babysitting. Yes, that is correct. Okay, fifth and final 
question. With Docomo having five points, Custom Fitness having six, in which film does Tom Cruise famously glide across his living room in a dress shirt, sunglasses, and socks to the Bob Seger tomb, old time rock and roll? <laughs> this is a chance to extend your lead or make up points and time is up so custom fitness what have you got and i notice you've changed the font color uh oh uh oh, uh -oh. risky business risky business that is there's correct. no you in it look so custom fitness now has uh, six points no. no, the U is, okay, he almost scratched the iPad trying to get the U in there, but I, I do see it. Okay, Risky Business is correct. Sam is micromanaging my And Risky Business business. also is correct for Docomo, so that means Docomo has six points, Custom Fitness has seven. Well done, teams, and please stay tuned because we have one last category. Brains and Brews, pride is on the line, and please stay tuned. We have round three when we come back. All right, third round is upon us, everybody, and we are at Cowboy Ninja. We have a very, very competitive match today between Team Custom Fitness and Team Docomo. The trash talk is off the charts, regardless of what the scoreboard says, but the score right now is Docomo Pacific 6, Custom Fitness 7, so Custom Fitness clinging to a one-point lead. How will they fare in the third round, which Seven is Rob Sinagasin, uh, one of our celebrity judges, has actually picked country music as the final category. Not sure if that was strategic or his idea of a practical joke, but we shall see. So teams, good luck. Country music, question number one. This country music diva won the 2005 season of reality competition American Idol. What is her name? Who am I talking about? She's a country music diva and she won American Idol in 05. The team seem kind of sure. I don't like this shot. We got a race. Now is the and your time is up. Custom Fitness, you said Carrie Underwood. I'm. So, what do you have on your iPad? I saw you had something on there, and then you hit like trying to erase it. It wouldn't erase. The pen doesn't okay, work again. Okay, but you have to hold up your, uh, your so the judges can see. Judges, it is a Carrie Underwood. Down. Down. Okay, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. C A R R I E U N D E R W O O D. Okay, that is uh, that will not well, be acceptable, work. unfortunately. Because apparently. So, Carrie Underwood is the correct answer. Docomo, do you have that? Yeah, we got it. Okay, can I see? We have Carrie Underwood. And Carrie Underwood, and it is spelled correctly. So, one point for Docomo, who now has tied the game once again for the Woo! first time since okay. late in okay. the first round. You do curse it. <laughs> you gotta spell it out. Can we get it one more time? The shots work, man. Nate, you're done. This does that work. Man, what else is broken? Wait, do you have the... Try the stylus. Try the stylus. There you go. Hey, that's yeah, well, making yeah. an injury. Check the finger. Oh. Try the stylus. Now is the effects of a lot of that alcohol from uh, rounds it. one and two Come coming on, into man. effect. Okay, everybody ready to go? All right. Question number two. This country singer is the subject of a 1980 biographical film, A Coal Miner's Daughter. Who is this person? She's a country singer and the subject of a 1980 biographical film, A Coal Miner's Daughter. When in doubt, guess. And let's go to Docomo first. And I noticed that Jared, who also, by the way, went to the Berkeley Institute of Music. He did. College of Music. <coughs> College of Music. And what do you say about the 
subject of the 1980 biographical film, A Coal Miner's Daughter? Our answer is Loretta Lynn. Loretta Lynn is correct. <laughs> One more point for Doko, and that gives them eight. Custom Fitness, you said... Nothing. We said Dolly Parton. Okay, unfortunately, it's... it's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They said Dolly Parton, which, which would have been correct if this was Steel Magnolias, I should add. Although we're metal, like a we don't yeah. I also want to add, these are iPads and not Etch-a-Sketch, so shaking them violently will not change the <laughs> context of your answer. That's a hell of a try, though. That's a really good idea. All right. Question number three. Today, Billy Ray Cyrus is best known as Miley's dad, and little Nas's ex is cameo in Old Town Road. But in the 90s, he was known for what world famous smash hit? And if you didn't get this question, you probably won't be welcome back for season two. Billy Ray Cyrus is not only Miley Cyrus's dad. In the 90s, what song that you literally could not not hear? I'm sorry, our judges are saying. We're saying time. Our judges are saying. Time. Can you take shots? Okay, our judges may have had something to drink too. So, uh, Dokomo, what do you have? We have achy, breaky heart. Okay, we have achy, breaky heart, which is correct. We also wrote achy, breaky heart. And Custom Fitness also has achy, breaky heart, giving Custom Fitness eight points and Dokomo nine. Very well done. All right. Two more questions in round three, the determining round. Question number four. What marijuana activist, everybody's ears are going, uh -huh. What marijuana activist is known for songs like Always On My Mind and Mamas Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up To Be Cowboys? Cheech. Who is this? It's not Cheech Marin, but that is very good. Tommy Chong. A marijuana activist, which just got the entire room Attention. Rigo's really happy. He actually knew this one. I voted for him. How does their iPad work whenever they have the answer? Okay, the time is up. Custom Fitness, your answer, please. Willie Nelson. With Willie Nelson I. is correct. I.E. I.E. That's correct. And the headband and all. Yeah. All right. We also have Willie Nelson. You also have Willie Nelson, also with an IE, and you also get one point. So Docomo is His now is Wiley. in double digits. Docomo has 10, Custom Fitness has 9. It all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen. If you're watching us on YouTube, add in your comments, give us a thumbs up, because this is for all the marbles. Today, this country singer is one of the most popular top 40 divas with songs like Calm Down. But she started her career as a country music singer before crossing over. Who am I talking about? She's one of the most popular top 40 divas with songs like Calm Down, but she started her career in country music before she crossed over. Who am I talking about? And how much have you had to drink? Okay, she's one of the most popular top 40 divas with songs like Calm Down. Pens down, please, iPads up. Do Docomo, your final response. We have Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is correct. And one more point for Docomo, yeah! giving them a grand total of 11. It doesn't matter what they say. Logan and his team also say Taylor Swift. They also get one point. That gives them 10. They are one point short. So Docomo Pacific has won round three and won this match. Yeah. Broken eye. KOM, Brains, and Bruce. Custom Fitness, thank you very much for playing. Well done. Would you like to play Bob? Would you like to play well, you guys always, you guys always no, bring it very, very well. Very good competitors, but Docomo, you have a little bit of work ahead of you guys. I know you guys aren't afraid of hard work, because when we come back, one representative from Docomo is going to the lightning round, and Jared. they are playing for beverages. So stay tuned. A lot of fun coming Jared. up. Jared. <laughs> Jared. Thank you so much for staying with us, everybody. To the Victor Go the Spoils, and Docomo Pacific has won today's competition. So, Jared, you have been elected or voluntold on behalf of your team? Voluntold, voluntold. Okay, so, so you have the dubious distinction of being able to compete in our lightning round. Okay. And for every correct answer for the topic I'm about to give you, you will get a beverage. 
I can do that. Okay. And, and you will consume them, I'm, I'm quite sure. So 100 of something, then, well, you want me to name. Well, if you, can, if you can knock those out, that would be quite impressive in 20 seconds, but we'll see how you do. All right. Okay. Your topic is, KUM TV will broadcast the Olympic Games live from Japan next summer, featuring 33 different athletic events. How many Olympic sports can you name in 20 seconds? Time on the clock, and go. Swimming, diving, long jump, uh, high jump, 50 meter, 100 meter. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> pole vault, javelin, basketball, soccer, skateboarding, chess, I don't know. Skeet. Okay, your time is up now. Interestingly enough, Jared mentioned so many correct answers. A lot of those were either under decathlon, yes. <laughs> so that would probably all wrap up into it one. Counts, man, it counts. Dungeons and Dragons is not unfortunately oh, one of them. Uh, okay, so we'll go to our panel of judges, and in that 20 seconds, you got four. Four is respectable. Okay. That's that's four beverages. So, Jared and Team Docomo have advanced to the finals. That is the bigger success. So, congratulations, Team Docomo. We'll see you in the championship, and we'll see you next time right here on KUM Brains and Bruce. Take care.